Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a blast in time. So Facebook sometimes reminds me of older stuff that has been posted. And one of the older stuff is the monthly magic box. And I was like, oh, I remember this. That's uh, pretty interesting stuff. So the monthly magic box without a, you know, to give you a brief idea, it was basically a mystery box. You didn't really know exactly what you would get sometimes you get a little bit more than the youtube that was the idea right uh we would send these boxes to the mana source and uh their friends mcquacks and these are these are not even small channels but they were basically channels to get the mana source to do it again the idea was to get the mana source and tolerant community college to give free advertisement and tell their very casual audience that hey this is a really cool gift to get your friend. So it was basically grandma buying these gifts uh, without really understanding like what they were. So in a nutshell, we have a, you know, a situation where people and still even today, they still get money probably from, from people who did not unsubscribe. So what was in this mystery box? Just a bunch of like junk sleeves and stuff. Oh, rocks and boxing 90, my adversary who's no longer uh, making YouTube videos. Uh, he was doing it as well. Basically, the entire YouTube community, minus like me, was promoting this box. And I had assumed, because all of them were doing it, they were getting paid for it. And then they got, they got like super mad at me, guys. That, especially Tolarian. In fact, Tolarian Community College, we had a um, conversation about it. I'm actually trying to find rocks in boxing right now. It's like where magic lives is his where magic lives. MTG is his uh, channel name. But yeah, I can't find them. Maybe he deleted his channel. Yeah, it is uh, really, really interesting uh, what is happening right now uh, with the Meadow Zoo and influencers, right? Promoting product. But back then it was something kind of relatively new in the magic, the gathering space. And a lot of people, subscri they subscribed to the monthly magic box. They didn't receive. It's a very simple scam, right? We have 10 influencers. We send 10 boxes out to them. We make the boxes look really good, but realistic. Some play mats, some sleeves, some other stuff. And then um, they promote, you know, they open their boxes in a timely manner. And then the audience, their audience sees it. And they put a link to it. And they buy it. All this time... You know, they weren't paying. Like today, to pay a monthly magic box, you know, for Tolarian Community College, it would probably be one of the more expensive things. It would be very expensive to hire somebody like Alpha Investments to promote your monthly magic box. He would probably be charging $10 million. Where does the number coming from? That's what people say that he's made from Meta Zoo. So again, it's not like this thing is... Uh, less money. Um, no, uh, it's not like th this thing is. No, it just is a ton of scammers out there in Magic the Gathering. Like I said, there's criminals, there's Nazis, there's felons. There's a lot of bad people in Magic who can't do anything else but sell you Magic scams. Right? So anyway, we found one of these bad people while he was sitting in jail. And I told Tolarian Community College, dude, this guy, this homie's in the mother effing jail, dude. Like, <laughs> how is this not a scam? And he goes, oh, it's not a scam. I have I have the uh, screenshots. It's just saved on my Facebook. And it's like 2000. <laughs> it's a long time ago. I It's about a uh, 10 year. It's actually the 10 year anniversary. Yep. Of the monthly magic box scam. The mana source was in on it. He was like a big proponent. I mean everyone and their grandmother was promoting this. Mine myself. They offered it to me. I said man this kind of looks like a scam. And I don't need your shitty product. I mean honestly I didn't realize they were scamming them. I just really didn't need their shitty product. Because it was all on Dave and Adam's clearance. So it was the play mats were in clearance. You can still probably find them today. Uh, Dave and Adam's. It was like a skeleton play mat. It was like. The worst things. And then, you know, lo and behold, you know what? what the, the true reason that Al, that Tolerian Community College gave it a bad grade was uh, now he has, uh, he has uh, a better deal for you. It's called a fantasy crate that also went belly up. 
you know, I, I mean, it's uh, incredible, really. Like, it's like, oh, well, hey, guys, this is a better deal. Let's all get this one. Let's all get this mystery box. It was like, what? Anyway, back to uh, my storytelling, because I think this is pretty interesting and definitely something that, I, I mean, if I were you, I wouldn't want to hear. This has been going on for a long time. Is it MetaZoo? Is it Monthly Magic Box? Is it something? You got to use your own brain and kind of think about like, wait a second. What is this product? And how is this product? Um, now, how is this product actually fit? Do I need this product? Do I need a playmat every month and some really, really bad sleeves? Or am I Gucci without it, right? So back to the initial assessment that I have. You know, it's just everyone promoting stuff. And many times, like FTX and CryptoZoo, you kind of promote the cheapest thing you have. And or the, the cheapest quality thing to your subscribers. You see this all the time, established titles. I could go on and on. All of these products being promoted on YouTube... They tend to have one commonality. They're very cheap to produce and they're easy to sell. Like the Ridge wallet, they I didn't know idea. It's $100, $200 for like a wallet you can get on Amazon for 10 bucks. But every other you do, our VPN, right? A VPN is a piece of software. Um, so it doesn't cost any more. I mean, maybe it costs like one cent, like server fees or something like that. But it really shouldn't cost any more once it's created. And that's the monthly magic box. They just produce 10 of them. Give them to 10 influencers that Tolarian Community College really loves. And everyone is promoting it and living in that little subscriber bubble. And none of them received anything. The packaging, again, they never, ever received it. And I think the funny part, I mean, not funny because a lot of people lost their money. The interesting part was they Tolarian Community College went straight to another mystery box. It was like, dude, the, the body's not dead yet. You can at least wait. You know, wait, wait a little bit, right? Um, but uh, nope, uh, straight on to the next mystery box. And I think it's uh, very telling, if you will, that this is how it goes, right? This is how it goes. So anyway, definitely one of the more interesting stories to tell that most of these people have no idea about. Uh, mo again, most of you guys have no idea because you're not OGs. Back in the olden days, people were selling like basically crypto coins and Puka Trade, right? It was basically the uh, like uh, basically like crypto coin, to be honest. And it's tough, man. It is tough out there trying to uh, make a living on YouTube, trying to get some money on YouTube. So why not take a sponsorship from a shitty magic mystery box that the guys operating from jail that your subscribers will never ever see the light of day from. Uh, the product.